What's up, everybody? It's your boy Fudge again from Flavor Radio Network. Boy Lethal still here from the ranting of a man named Lethal. And we are at the uh, birthday bash for La Familia Music. Uh, we, my man Burst is on the camera. He's he's hanging out with us. Uh, we got our live studio audience. Everybody, give us a hand. For, uh, yes, right. that's a large audience. That's a large, huge audience. You know, um, and, that's how we roll. And the, the, actually, La Familia has been on stage uh, just now and. Uh, and uh, I tell you what, great performance so far. Um, but before that, the second act, right after Sicily, was my man Messianico. That's how I say it. Yes, sir. In Spanglish. Yeah. So, uh, Messianico, what's up, man? How you doing? Good, man. How you doing? Nice I'm good. I'm good. Nice to meet you Fudge, too. Huh? Lethal. Fudge and Lethal. There you go. We don't really have a real name for this program. It's basically uh, the flavor rantings, I guess, if you want to put it. Flavor Ranting. FRN still. Flavor Ranting. Flavor Ranting Network, yeah. That works. So uh, anyways, we're trying to figure out what's going on with these people while we're here. Um, they invite all kinds of people. Um, probably about a, uh, a good crowd, about 250 maybe, maybe about, that showed up tonight uh, on top of the artists, the many artists. So uh, tell us where you're from. What's what's going on? Where you, where'd you come from? Messianico. Uh, uh, I'm from Tampa, uh, Puerto Rican though. I was born in Philadelphia, and um, when I was little, three months, my parents took me to Puerto Rico. I grew up there. That's uh, where I got my, you know, my reggaeton and my hip hop and all of that. That's where I, I got it from. That's when I fell in love with it. So um, I'm a Puerto Rican from Tampa. Boricua. Yes. Tampaña. I don't know. I'm just trying. <laughs> uh, so anyways, uh, so, so what got you into music? I mean, that's a real big question everybody asks. General, but you know, we want to know why you got into music. Well, since I was four years old, three years old, um, I was singing in church. My dad was a guitar player, you know, grew up in that environment, singing in church, you know, with my sisters. But um, like I said, once I, I heard hip hop, it's like, I was like, man, that's me, you know, I, I could relate to that, you know. I saw things, you know, and I, I saw things that I could write it down, you know, make it come out, you know, to life through music. And um, I saw that way, you know, I could express myself, you know, through hip hop, you know, like me. That's me. I saw it like that's me. I love hip hop. Cool, cool. So with, um, with the whole hip hop thing, was always God centered? Or did it start out set differently? Definitely, man. I grew up in church since I was little, you know. Of course, you know, you have your backslides and, right. you know, you're. You know, you kind of go away from church and, you know, you do things, because especially when you grew up in church, you don't know what's out there, you know, you want to experiment, right. which is a big mistake, you know. But um, most of the, you know, most of the people that I know that grew up in church did the same thing. They backslide, and then when they know what's out there, garbage, they got to come back, just like me. And um, basically, I grew up in church, you know, and since I've been rapping, it's been Christian. <coughs> I never really rapped when I was in the world. You know, but I guess God gave me the talent, you know, he gave me, you know, the knowledge and everything when I was rapping, you know, for him and everything. So it's always been about God, definitely. It's awesome, man. Um, yeah, um, still a, put a still a question from uh, Mr. Verse behind the camera. <laughs> the man yes. Verse. Still the man Verse. How do English audiences respond to Spanish reggaeton? Well, before, like today, there's a lot of people that I don't know Spanish. So every time I go to a crowd, they go, every time I go, I know there's a lot of people that don't, that don't speak Spanish. I tell them, look, this is for the rate, you know, same reasons uh, Sicily did it, the Familia music did it, it's all about God, you know? Right. And if God wants you to understand what I'm coming, what I'm saying, you know, and you don't know Spanish, he's gonna make you understand what I'm talking about, even if you don't know Spanish. Because if that message is for you, you know, he, God could do anything. You know that those words are gonna go through your mind and through your heart, and you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna, you gonna understand what I'm talking about, what I'm saying. You know, because God is powerful. And I basically tell them that. You know, I know you guys don't speak Spanish, blah blah blah, but we're doing it for God. You know, we're keeping it holy, we're keeping it you know for Him. You know, all glory glory to God. Amen. Definitely. But me es todo es muy gordo. I mean, I know that. I've known that one in high school. When, uh, Tengo mucho hambre. Yeah. Your belly, your belly is yo, huge. Yo soy de los Estados Unidos, you know, there all you the go. basic stuff, you know, I know all those. Uh, but that's about it, you know, this is stuff. 
can get me by, you know. I'm you can defend yourself. You can defend. You can defend. That's yourself. right. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, you know, but I tell you what, I can testify spiritually. You know, some people have that discernment in the spirit to figure out what the heart is behind the music. Um, even though I didn't understand the words, but I understood the spirit behind it, and, uh, and my spirit testified with it right away, listening to it. Um, I, I didn't understand a word, but I tell you what, I played it a lot when I got that CD. It was beautiful, just beautiful music all together. So, uh, so I, I, I encourage everybody to go get a, a Spanish English dictionary, try to figure out what he's saying too. In the meantime, just cop it anyways. Um, so, uh, last question really is, uh, you know, um, you know, why would I buy your CD? That's really well, basically, a tough one for some people, but my why? city, my city. I, you know, God gave it to me. I'm not saying every every single song in that in that city. I know it was from God. Some of those songs, I was sleeping. I was knocked out sleeping, and all of a sudden I wake up. I open my eyes, and I have stuff in my head. And I know that was God waking me up, telling me you gotta write about this. And at that time, three in the morning, five in the morning, I gotta get up and I start writing. So I know it's from God. So every single song is a different topic. It talks about. Homosexual. Let's talk about drugs. Let's talk about people hating on you. One song at least has to minister to your life, you know. Because everybody goes through stuff, especially Christians. You know, we go through a lot. So you know, I have songs there talking about giving you strength. You know, giving you power. Look for God. You know, I have. You know, God gave me all those topics because I know at least one song is gonna minister to anybody that listens to that city. You know, and like I said, I give glory to God because it was Him that gave it to me. I mean, I'm no, I'm nobody. I'm told God, you know, before I made the CD, I'm an instrument. You know, if you see any pride of me, please take me away, you know. So I was like, God, so, just, just do whatever you want through me, you know. And every, I know every single song ministered to somebody, at least just, just one song. That's the way I see it. Awesome, man. Good answer, good answer. And it wasn't, wasn't a rehearsed answer because we're... Some point blank questioning here. Right off the top. So uh, yeah, we don't have a script. We don't have anybody with cue cards. Uh, you know. By the way, it's kind of like the howl. Oh, there the you go. Howl. That's for verse. That Thank was, you. That, that was actually from. I know Sissy does it. There you go. Do I feel a freestyle coming on here or what? Uh, that's her. I don't freestyle. You don't freestyle. Oh. He's a liar. All right. Well, anyways, uh, let's just. Uh, well, uh, thank uh, Messianico for uh, thanks for Messianico for his time hanging yes. out with us, uh, and uh, I feel so tossed in this chair. You are These tall. guys are comfortable, and I'm just kind of like trying to get into the action. Uh, but you know what? You got to do what you got to do. So uh, they don't call me Fudge for nothing. You know, I mess up everything. But uh, but uh, that's not true. So anyways, thanks, Verse, and uh, we're gonna get to the next interview. There's a lot of concert going on. We're going to get some more footage first and then try to bring the next line coming in. So uh, we don't know who that's going to be. Stay tuned. Stay yes. tuned. My man Lethal. Fudge, we're here. Jim!